everybody, welcome back to E4 Art of War multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Mathis Quill and Roomba. Say hello. 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 Hey there. Shall well, we? The Commonwealth is huge. Let's do it. Yeah, Commonwealth, they're, they're doing work. Mm -hmm. They're fighting the Ottomans right now. So. Except for that independent Smolensk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> fucking, fucking Smolensk. <laughs> You guys want some administrative tips from the number five administrative power in the world? You come talk to Ethiopia. You are number Ow. five administrative? Good on you. I'm scared. <laughs> I would be. You know what my religious unity is right now? 114%. Oh. Nice. Nice. There's some paradox math for so you. So <laughs> mine, I'm number four administrative power. Oh, okay. And my religious unity is 117%. Oh, no. I am suck it. <laughs> I'm eighth in admin power. Oh, wow, look at this guy. We're all yeah. doing pretty well. I'm fifth in military, though. <laughs> call me when you're first. Uh, hey, AKA, first? call me never. Oh. That burn. Like, please, because we don't want you to become first. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't realize I had so many military leaders, and they weren't even doing anything. Probably wasted, like, hundreds of points. Oh, that reminds me, actually. I gotta get rid of a few. Uh, or not. You can stop sending me peace offer, Mamluks. I will be done with you when I have deemed done. So this war with Spain is probably going to drag on until they just decide that they don't want to be at war anymore. Because there's nothing I can do. We've got so much naval superiority. Yeah. Get can away you, from them to get can you defend them, at least? Like, defend their landings? I think maybe. The problem is, oh, you're taking over their stuff on the on Africa. All right, that's good because if they have provinces there, they can land pretty easily. Yeah, the only one they can get to is surrounded by wasteland, or they can go down to the very southern part of the map. Actually, I'm gonna hire some mercenaries down here and see if I can siege. There's a 24 stack of Maduran nationalists in Coromandel where Bahamas can't reach. Sucks that makes for me them. very happy. Wish there was a way to boost maintenance for some troops and not for others. So you could have like. Mothball an army. Exactly. Just say, hey, you guys, like, you're going to be reserves for now or whatever, but this is going to be our active core that's going to be. Preventing people from trying to be mad about not being able to express their religious freedom. That makes a whole lot of sense. They enabled it for navies. Why not for armies? Mm -hmm. Boom! Especially now that maintenance affects your unrest prevention. Like, that seems to be the natural tie-in. Yep. There didn't need to be... A, there wasn't as much of a need for it before. But now, it, like, I would like to have one army that's well-supplied to stomp on rebels while everyone takes a break. Suck on that paradox, I just arumbed you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright, Malaka, let's start annexing you. Oh, where's Tripoli and Slemkin? I totally forgot they exist right now. Like, northwest Africa? That's North Africa. <sighs> Alright, I guess I'm heading over that way. You can't get the provinces you want? Uh, I probably can. Um, I was going to just stomp on everything for 100% war score and then just decide, but I could probably just get what I want. Yeah, after a while, they're willing to give up more than the war score worth of stuff, so. All right, cool. You often don't need to get everything. I mean, Depends they don't, on the they don't have an, They no longer have an army. They're done. Soon I'll be touching you, Aru uh, Roomba. Oh, great. I'm, hey, I'm a gain bit... stability. So you're taking the Mamluckian territory over. You're not going to have a line directly there. You're just going to take some land and be like, ha ha, I'm an Afghan. <laughs> well, I do have uh, military access through the Ottomans, so I can walk through them. <laughs> Bless the Ottomans you. no longer Thank hate you. me. Thank God. I invested a lot into having them not hate me. <laughs> they were at negative 167 and hostile. I was afraid. <laughs> Well, Spain, I'm going to be as stubborn as a northern lion. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. How do you like that, Spain? You just got northern lion. <laughs> I'm not even Can mad. I actually attack them? Oh, I can. Oh, come here, you sons of bitches. 
Poor little Fazan. I'm gonna stomp on them. Fazan is a vassal of Telemkin. I know. I didn't know that. I know. <laughs> you should have told me. No, it's okay. It's okay. Oh no, Spain is coming in from north. Near Tan they're landing in Tangier. Of course they have military, they have naval control there. I'm in trouble. Cheers. Why can't I see Ah, Hedges is allied with the Ottomans? The fuck? Oh, that's a province, that's why. Yeah. What? <laughs> Who's sucks. what now? Hejaz, these little three province nothing that was like the leftovers of Ryan's oh, War. Look at that, yeah. They're allied with the Ottomans. God damn it. Oh, it's three province nothing. They were like the dominant power. They were, but they're not Arabia. anymore. No, I never get any respect for the for what I change in this game. I just said after the, after the war. Ah, with whatever. You. Oh, don't even whatever <laughs> me. Where are these provinces? Uh, That's the one I want. Actually, I should have given them to Yarkand. Yarkand? That's a silly name. <laughs> it kind of is. I like <laughs> it. Where you live, Yarkand? Oh. Can't even take him seriously. Yarkand. No. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good one to eat next. So yeah, I'm just going to consolidate my power here. Double annexing vassals. Nice, nice. At a race of six Diplo points each per month. Whoa. Which means I'm about to run out of points. But I am about to finish annexing one, probably? Maybe not, actually. I think I'm maybe hovering at zero Diplo points for a while. So I did that kind of backwards. All right. Will you give me everything I want? Yes, 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 yes. You will. Okay, cool. We can end this war, I guess. You'll give me war reparations in turn. Give up. What else can I get you to do here? <laughs> you could break their alliances. Yeah, we're an old treaties with Tripoli and Tlemkin. Yep, I can try. Yep, there you go. Actually, no, because then, then you're just going to eat them. <laughs> I can't get up Oh, they there just there. allied with Morocco. Where's Morocco? I can't get up there to Tripoli and Tlemkin. You crazy? This guy thinks I can get up there to Tripoli and Tlemkin. <laughs> you could find a way. Bastard, stupid bastard Spain. I hate everything about him. <laughs> you have damn right. discipline advantage, morale advantage, tactics advantage. War is over. Oh, I missed, I missed one. Ethiopia declared war on Mamluk. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I missed one. I missed this little province right here. Oh, that's oh, like when I didn't take Macau. <laughs> oh, that's Son you know, maybe I'll bitch. sneak over there and grab that one now. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Well deserved at that. <laughs> Do you want military access? <laughs> it saved me walking around the whole desert here. No. Oh, outrageously refused <laughs> to grant military access. Into the desert you go, sir. That's rude. I just I just lost a fight with Spain. They had a 12 stack wandering down from northern Africa. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even have a leader. I mean, they just sent, you know, an army randomly through with no leader. That I can't I can't even beat it. <laughs> I can't even beat that army. What it sounds like is you're having a great time. Oh, yeah. Really enjoying myself. Okay. Well, um, now I wait for them to get 25 ticking or score, and then maybe we just make Song Glo disappear. <laughs> Give them all of it. And this problem can't happen again. Song Lo, sweet chariot. Spain is going to be your new home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's Sing see. to me, my angel of music. <laughs> did you break the alliances, by the way, Mathis? I did. Oh, accidental collusion. I love it. I uh, took pretty much everything I could from them, so... 
super accidental because I don't think he wanted that to happen. Nope, but that's fine. If I want something from Ryan, I'll take it. You know, I can't really, you know, put up any defense to that, really. In game, I can put up a defense, which is basically just stubbornness. <laughs> right, right, exactly. But I'm gonna, I need, I'd like to, after a big chunky war, chunky war, that's a good, dis, dis, good, good descriptor, Mathis. Uh, after a big war like that, I like to take time and not go immediately back to war because I learned my lesson the hard way by losing some of my countries in the process. Is it worth it to make manufactories? Like, I assume it would be, otherwise they wouldn't exist, but... Yeah, they can give you quite a bit of money. The nice See. thing about them, while there's a big investment, is they don't take much power points. Mm. But there's a payoff, right? Because it's like, if it gives you plus five income per year, and it costs 500 to build, then it'll pay itself off in like 100 turns. I mean, 100 years. But then there's like multipliers and other such nonsense. Okay. I, I like to build it. Okay, 40 spam. on 14. You got that? You got if it? I can't, if I can't win 40 on 14, <laughs> then there's no hope. Are you winning this war right now? No. You're hoping to at least tire them out so they're willing to peace out. So what are you hoping to get out of this little war you declared there, Ryan? Um few provinces in the like two coastline provinces and then interior stuff that doesn't require me to actually touch the ottomans yet and this little tiny thing that i left alone probably yeah <laughs> damn it you know i wouldn't be too salty about that province it's got one base tax i'm not i'm not, I'm not salty about it <laughs> and it is no it's not in my trade node that's all right though Hmm. Well, if you're rivaling me, do it. I don't. Know, I don't have the diplo points actually. I think. Oh. But Monoth Civil War, they're fucked. <laughs> 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 I like how Orissa's is still around, though. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep them around. I'm never gonna vast uh, annex them. That's, That's not necessarily true, but uh, I can't lose diplo power right now. That would be bad. Whoa. All right, no longer overextended. So I'm still thinking I'm not going to westernize until I get my diplomatic relations under control. Which, theoretically, opens me up to just annex some more stuff. I hope France declares war on Spain. Like, right now. <laughs> that, that would possibly change everything. And they're at war happy. already right now. They are? Yeah, they're at like, war with Brabant, with Oldenburg, Spain. Austria, Ansbach, Sweden, Brandenburg, Saxony. Oh, so France is at war right now. Yeah, France is at war with other people, so I don't think they're going to go to war with for Spain right now. Probably not. Yeah. You look like you're holding them off. Well, they just, they're not trying to go into Africa. So yeah, you're, you sieged uh, Kuwait. Qua right? Is that how you say uh, that? Sayuta. Sayuta, Sayuta. sorry. Mm, diplomats are back. Ethiopia. What's up? Nothing. We're, we're touching now. I'm excited. We are. There's nothing I can do about it, though. Man, I, I will say that over this week's uh, videos, I get a perverse sense of satisfaction from noticing that all of the cool. countries who declared war on me at the end of last week barely exist. <laughs> Hedges, two <clears throat> provinces or three provinces left here. Najd, gone. Shamar, gone. Mamluks, I'm pooping on them now, so something must have gone <laughs> terribly wrong. <laughs> I like that the Ottomans have uh, rivaled Songhai. Makes me feel giddy. Yeah, because that's necessary right now. <laughs> Sorry, at this point, yeah, you are taking a bit of a beating, so I'll have to dial back the rhetoric against you. The trash oh, talk. Yeah, no, the, the I, rhetoric, I can't flavor like, text. It doesn't bother me. The rhetoric doesn't. I'm just saying, like, you're not going to need any help to beat me if, if Spain just keeps on crapping on me. I don't see... People keep asking, like, oh, it's just a matter of time before it's, like, Shanghai and Ayutthaya. I don't think they realize it's that I don't way. know if the campaign is going to last long enough. For us to ever border each other, do yeah. anything in a meaningful way. Could well, I, be. I honestly expected to fuck up really early and you guys would just have free reign over Timurids, but I, 
I'm happy I held out. So. Okay, so oh, here's, here's a new complaint that maybe maybe <laughs> we can get Paradox to change something. Okay, okay so Quill, you played EU3, right? Yes. Not much, but yes. You remember how the advisors work in EU3, right? Uh, they had, they, I mean, they had variety modifiers. They didn't have levels. I can't remember right. exactly. There was a huge screen, and, and there was like... All the different oh, types of there advice. Like six different levels, different categories, or something like that. Or but you four? could. The thing was that you could you could always hire whichever advisor you wanted. Yes. It wasn't it wasn't random? And like my my complaint is that okay, so for like the last I don't know fifty. Oh, you years, could you could spend your um your cultural points or whatever to spawn an advisor a certain level, which is always good. I'd like save up my points by making whatever tapestries and getting masters of mints, which was critical because inflation was a real problem in that game. I remember no. some of this stuff. Yeah, all right. Go on. Well, I, ne I never really played it very much, but my, my point is just that, like, the last 50 years, I've had nothing but level 2 and 3 advisors available for hire, and they're nothing that I have any interest in. And it's like, as you're saying, in my entire country, mm -hmm. we can't possibly find a theologian. Like, they're, <laughs> yeah. they're, all of them are dead. Every <laughs> one of them. Yeah, in EU3, well, you couldn't just pick any advisor anytime, but there was a system to spawn an advisor, which yeah, was so nice. I, like, spend Diplo power to get a theologian or something like yeah all right i could dig that yeah i just think that it should be something where you have a little bit more control over at least like the level of advisor like why is it always like it seems to take your income and then somehow that affects what kind of advisor it spawns i don't know i still wish there was some way that you could um change the power levels of your monarch like spend money to invest to send them to university or something like that or you know if your power level if your total power of your monarch is below six then there's a 10% chance every year that he'll get a point in a category. Yeah, that'd he be cool. becomes less incompetent. <laughs> I mean, just like force a Regency Council on him. Since I started mm -hmm. off playing as England, I really wanted that. <laughs> like, ah, oh, zero, zero, zero leader. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stupid King Henry the Sixth. Oh, <laughs> man. Whatever. That's great. Declare a republic, put in a parliament. Hey, yo, Cromwell, go nuts. Military access for Ming. Do it, you won't. Right. <laughs> nope, I did not. Do you not? You didn't take Ming yet? No, why would I take Ming? No. Um, I, I didn't want to take too much stuff because of a variety of reasons. So my priority are provinces that made my borders yeah. less stupid. They still look stupid because of Yarkin having little provinces all over, but they're my vassals, so it's effectively the same. Got him for that military tech 16, baby. That's Shut scary. Up. Yeah. Give it to me. I just hit 11. What'd you get in 11? Anything good? I can't remember. No? Nothing? He, he probably doesn't know. Yeah, oh. you got it. <laughs> I thought I know, you were bigger numbers are better, right? <laughs> exactly. That's oh, that's my philosophy. My God. Why is my fraps not recording? Oh, oh no. <laughs> all week. You have too many issues with fraps. You gotta change. No, no, it hasn't been all week. I know that. I wonder if my I didn't check my external and it filled. Oh, this guy. <sighs> yeah, fraps I'm will fail silently that way. It does. That's so annoying. I'm a noob. Well, luckily for you, we were only like a minute away. Yeah, I don't know when it stopped though. recording, though. Yeah. I'll look. You'll probably find out <laughs> yeah. pretty soon. I'll look. It's all right. They'll have a, the rest of this episode will just be black screen with uh, audio. Sounds good. It'll be like a podcast. Oh, right. Because you record with, uh, what, Audacity? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like Audacity a lot. Will our voices be in there? Nope. Oh, damn it. Nope. <laughs> Math is talking to himself in front of a black screen. I'm just going to talk to myself. I'm sure they'll find some humor in that. <laughs> just throwing these little cartoons. I don't know. Oh, man. I am facing like a 0.5 tactics advantage. I, I feel like I'm playing as the Native Americans again. I, you kind of are. For our purposes. Oh. Stupid Europeans coming over and ruining everything. Where do these guys come from? Yeah, and Spain now is gone and like they're colonizing all this shit. 
Iraq just That's randomly great. formed. Oh, it did. Oh, also known as free land for Mathis. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the uh, the end of it until after Christmas. I need uh, like, oh, I need war. enough time to peace out in this war because if it's going to be like two weeks, three weeks maybe, there's no way I'm going to remember what's happening. You got to finish up what you're doing. Yeah, it'll. It, I'm not going to take very much. I can understand a little bit of an extra longer episode. Well, it's unfortunate that one viewpoint is lost. Yeah, it happens. I wonder if I should just break my relations as Dolly and save myself a slot. No, I don't think so. Remember the good old days? Kang's economic reforms. Yeah, what good old days? Good old days where you could just like give Spain like a thousand ducats and say like go away. And they just, <laughs> they'd just be like, oh, money. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> oh, just go away. Leave me alone, dude. Wow, all that tax base. Losing the inflation means nothing, but wow. Mercantilism. Yeah, we got to go with these economic reforms. Religious zeal. Oh, yeah. My missionary effectiveness is out of control right now. Nice. How's your unity? It's still pretty good, right? It's over 100, 117. Because of uh, a policy I have that's like plus 1% efficiency and plus 20% flat religious unity. Which seems like a really weird kind of modifier, but I'm very happy to have mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I think it's with just Coptics and Buddhists or something that have it. Because hmm. I think that's where mine's coming from. Uh, no, it's not. Tlumkin? Tlumkin is now auto allied with the Ottomans. Weird. It's not religious ideas that give you extra unity, is it? Almost doesn't make any sense. No. Man, these people have no faith in their religion. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ayuathan ideas. Just pop in and you're like, hey, have you heard about our Lord and Savior? The yep, yep, all right. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm mostly taking Paisi right now just because I don't want Spain to take it. That's one of the hottest jams on the soundtrack. <laughs> Spain has forty-seven heavies. Ugh. I have I have a grand total of fifty, like some ships. They have that yeah. many heavies. Are you holding off at what at least? No. No, no I'm not. <laughs> They've landed thirty, forty And they won't they won't 50, just uh, step 50, away. My king they have fifty five thousand guys. Super happy because my new king is way better. I wonder if I could make and try and enforce peace between you two. Like that would work. If I liked you. What is it under? Influence? Yeah, I can. I can enforce a white peace. I will join the war of the opposing side. Oh, this is so good. War reparations. This is like uh, when the Nazis pieced down France in World War II. I'm like, remember what you did to me, Mom Luke's? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do this in the exact same temple that you signed that war reparations deal with me. What was it like a train car? Or something yeah, that I believe they saved. it was a train car. And then they blew it up after in World War II, so they couldn't be forced to sign it again. Exactly. I was like, man, brilliant. <laughs> that was a little salty, maybe. Just a touch. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm I'm done with my. You mean wait for me my war to be finished up? Are you? I'm not sure if you're being serious, but if so, yes. No, it's, it's it's serious. I have. Oh yeah, I'm just at war with Iraq, real quick. I do like playing. Uh... <sighs> God. Yeah, that, that's what that's what George W. Bush said. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> that's not getting into that. So was... we're gonna have to wait until my war finishes too. There was nothing I could do. Like I didn't start this war. I couldn't decline the call. I couldn't do freaking anything. Because just... you're because your freaking colony was like this will be a great idea. I'm just screwed. It's been a crazy okay. long war, too. They'll finally, they're finally willing to accept a peace offer. Here's what they want. Songhai will be forced to give 10% of their income. Okay? We will cede lesser something to Spain. One, two, three provinces that we'll just give directly to their colonies. We will give Kors, Tuat, and Garb to Morocco. Fez will give Kors, Melilla to, to Tlemkin. Wow. And they want 400 ducats. 
Damn. That is a lot. Are you going to take it? I don't know. I mean, it's not going to get any better. <laughs> That's for sure. And I can't end the war. I want What I want is I want to, like, say, here, take all of Song Lo. Take yeah. the country. <laughs> Make it cease to exist. You can't offer that? No, I can't. You can't break relationship. Like, I can't cancel the relationship oh. with Song Lo, and I can't transfer all of it to him because they don't want all of it, which is stupid. There we go. So I don't even need, like, up. this sounds terrible, but I have so much gold now that I don't actually know what to do with it. How much do you have? I was close to 2,000. Holy shit! With how, how do you have so much money? I have pretty good income, man. Apparently, Jesus. What are you making right now? Um, 36 next. Jesus, nice. Build a, just build a bunch of military buildings, man. Oh, I, I have been considering it, but I'm so <laughs> far behind in military tech compared to some That's, of my neighbors. Yeah. <coughs> build those manufacturers. I think that is what I'm going to end up having to do. Make your economy even more. Is there any, like, you should put your manufacturing in whatever province has the highest plus this number of gold indicator? Yeah. All right, do I want to put it in the province close to Mathis or the province close to Aruba? Did I just drop my army maintenance? Of course I did. Uh, next to, I don't know. I have no idea, honestly. That is a question for Quill. <laughs> or Which, who's most likely to attack you? Yeah, exactly. I don't think that's a question I can answer for you. <laughs> uh, well, you know, for, I mean, not saying I'm going to attack you anytime soon, but you know Arumba's very preoccupied right now. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I'm aware of that. Oh, he's out of the war. I just accepted their bullshit. <laughs> There's no point. I mean, and I'm looking through all the options. There's absolutely nothing I can do to sever ties with that piece of yeah. shit country. <laughs> Great Britain is uh, down in your face there, too, now. They're not doing much, really. They're not colonizing Africa. They I don't see Great Britain more. Yeah, they're... Oh. Oh, yeah. They have a colony oh, there. I see. That's true. I should probably attack them. They love me, but I can't ally them. They're in fifth. Yeah, see, this is actually... A, it's working out to my disadvantage now, too, because, like, what I would have to do to actually be able to combat... Spain is ally France or Great Britain because they are Spain's rivals. True. And right. if I did that, then France would take care of Spain anytime Spain and I had a colonial war, and I'd actually have a chance. But not working out. Welp, uh, my war's over. Oh, you're good. Yep, I just vassalized them. I need to do one thing. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll forget. Hey, yeah, I think give, me, fair, give me, give me, give me one more time. Yeah, do we need to leave notes for things all the I know. time? That's why I'm not going to go into any more wars now. I'm done. I'm, I'm done with uh, needing to do that stuff. I'm happy. I won many wars today. Congrats. I got myself out of a fairly disastrous situation. Oh, you came out much stronger. I think did all right. Uh, Best week I've had in like a month for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, definitely looking good. My Who's, where'd Mercuria come from? They've been there forever. Oh, they have used they? To be, um, they used to be a vassal of the Mamluks, and then Arumba took them. Well, I guess the next focus for me is, like, straight up prepping for a full-on war with the Ottomans. I think that's my next goal. It's a shame we can't second. collude. I feel like we should be able to collude against the Ottomans. I feel like nope. the rule, here's the rule. Nope. If we can't ally with the top ten, we should be able to collude against the top ten. Okay, I'm in a good spot now. That seems very arbitrary I mean, to me. As, as, but I as long it. as it's not too gamey, but you know, the whole idea of like you're acting belligerent towards a country, other people know you're acting belligerent, and you might be going to war soon, and then they can prepare their own stuff. I mean, yep. that happens without being too gamey. But just don't try to like peace out at the right time so someone else can take over the sieges. Yeah, yeah. makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And the, mo right. the important thing is not colluding your peace deals. I think is even the most important thing. Right. Right. All right. Well, if everybody's good. Uh, yeah. Why don't we take this opportunity to say, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episodes. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time whenever that is. In a few, in weeks. A few weeks. All right. Bye. <laughs> bye. See you soon. Bye-bye.